Welcome back to another week of TPG Talks about the top 10 po Reddit posts of the week. But again, as I went to the Reddit post, there really wasn't much to talk about. So, went to R News. Always something good there to talk about. And eh, it's got some decent ones. Funny thing is, not many of them actually involve research. It's mostly topics that have happened this week. So, let's start one off. So, George Couple sentenced for racist threats in child's birthday party. So when I read the article, oddly enough, this happened about a year and a half ago in July of 2015. From what I read, people who were on a convoy waving them, uh, two people, this was two people on a convoy, not everyone, two people, a man and a woman, started making racial threats, waving the, uh, waving the Confederate flag during a child's birthday party. Racist and actual th racist threats at a child's birthday party. Who the hell does that? And here's the shocking, but not shocking. Oh, my cat's about to jump up. And no! No, stop, kitty. Got a combined sentence of 35 years. Maybe you shouldn't be driving around like an asshat waving that flag. And I'm. If I am correct, there is a video out there that I recommend watching. It's just a little surreal to see that. This is in Georgia. Uh, next one. A soldier has photographed more than 100 illegally parked cars in Miami. Good for him. That's awesome. Hopefully, many of those people got the nice little ticket they deserve. Nothing much to learn from that. Um, yeah, legally you can do that. Here we go. But here's one I am going to talk about for a little bit longer. U.S. marijuana jobs set to outpace manufacturing. Now, this was by for, Fox4Now.com. And from what the article says, this is a projected 300,000 jobs in the next three years, which actually makes sense when you look at the idea. You know, people have been talking about, hippies yeah, have been talking about for the last 40 years what hemp can actually do from oil to manufacturing like clothes, oil for cars, and all kinds of like, well, clothing, just clothing period, paper for God's sakes, little things like that that we just take advantage, rope, all these things can be created with hemp. And yeah, that can outpace. Here, I took a couple of the notes. Let's see. We also need cutters. We need growers. We need sellers. We need testers. We need people who, artists, make glass stuff, different ways to intake it. What's another one? Even culinary can use this because, you know, people use that, you know, um, THC butter and all that stuff to make all kinds of brownies, cookies, cakes, so on and so forth. What else is there? Medicine. Yeah, it wouldn't shock me if it goes along that route that this can create a bunch of different jobs. And, well, in the long run, even give some people the opportunity who've had a bad background to get a job like that. But, you know, it's going to be interesting. Colorado alone's already created 20,000 jobs. And these jobs can range from $11 to $20, depending on where, you go, where you're working at. Some retailers have uh, given their... Employees twelve dollars to fourteen dollars to even twenty dollars plus tips. Those are cash business at the moment, but what do you expect? It'd be interesting next three years to see where that goes. All right, next one. Plan a protest, lose your house. Plan a protest, lose your house. Bill killed by Arizona House, which is actually a very good thing. Basically, in the long run, if you plan a protest and it has your name on it and it becomes violent. Even if you're not there, repercussions can happen to you, which is absolutely insane and, quite frankly, makes it seem that, uh, pro- their, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The ability to try to stop people from protesting, even though, legally, you can't protest. You can. You have the right to protest. But, with that bill, they were trying to stop people from planning protests- because if hey if it turns violent, well guess what? You're in trouble even if you're not the one who did it. So sorry. Now you're gonna get all the repercussions because this person or these people got violent at this protest. Sessions met with Russian envoy twice last year. Encounters he later did not disclose, which he 
from what I've learned, there's been a lot of controversy about that, even on Reddit earlier this week about him doing that. And it, it oh, hello, kitty. He sworn on the oath. It's something similar to what Clinton's done, to be honest. And he was talking about secret information. When he's, oh, no, that was Mike Pence I'm thinking of, who did very something very similar. But, you know, hopefully we see something more. But <laughs> Trump's cabinet is not looking too good. More and more fun stuff. Now, this one really pissed me off, but I'm so happy that the repercussions of this went south for these people. Good. Good. Religious parents who refused to take his son to hospital and thought God would resurrect him could found guilty of first-degree murder. Yes, they knew he was sick. He was a type 1 diabetic. He was 16 years old, weighing 35 freaking pounds. Uh, after reading a few articles, it was believed that the reason why they didn't do it because they lost a kid for over a year. Last time, they didn't do something very similar. But this caused a child to die. To freaking die because they did not... Because of their religious belief. And my God, is that absolutely bonkers! I am so happy that went south the show that maybe take your goddamn type 1 diabetic kid to the freaking hospital when he's... Not doing so well and weighing only 35 goddamn pounds. Now, here's another one. Federal court... Federal appeals. This cat's rubbing all over me. She won't leave me alone. Appeals court rules 2 to 1. You have the right to film police. As long as it's in a public setting, yes, you do. Wish many... Well, police stations are public. Sorry, I mean, that's... I, I don't see a problem with filming police. I have never saw a problem with that. And last but not least, CNN banned from the White House pre press briefing. If you read, heard my thing last week, uh, yeah, you already know what I thought about that. So, tell me what you think. I want to hear what, what your people's thoughts are. You know, I'm, I ain't no expert here. This is just something I want to talk about. Because if we don't talk about it, we don't learn from each other. And if we don't learn from each other, we stay disclosed from each other which is that's not good we want a democracy so we got to hear everything from both sides but once you start cussing and start doing the blame game it's your argument becomes well invalid to be honest but if you stay calm and have a valid good reason and with actual facts and not alternative facts then i am willing to talk to you all day i have shoot eat friends and people at work i'll talk to them all day about something and i'll put my two cents in I'm no expert on everything, but I think I have a good well balance of what goes on in this world. It's not my job, so my focus is on 100%. I just like having a little conversation with people. So if you want to and I have a conversation with me, leave a comment. Thank you all for listening this very interesting week. It's getting, interest it's getting more interesting every week. You all have a good day. I'm going to go play.